Welcome to State of Tech. I've got an iPad Air tip for you. I'm going to show you how to enable restrictions on your device. So if we open up our settings application, come into the general tab here, and on the right hand side we're going to scroll down until we see restrictions. Now once we've found that, you see restrictions right here, tap there, and then we're going to tap enable restrictions. We're going to be asked to enter in a four digit passcode, so I'll go ahead and enter that in right now, and then I'm going to go ahead and confirm it. Now with restrictions, I can um, disable certain applications or functions from our, my device. So you see that I can allow Safari, Camera, FaceTime, iTunes Store, iBooks, installing and deleting apps, and app purchases, Siri, and even AirDrop. And then I can change the ratings for the allowed content on my device. So if your device was going to be used by your child or it was going to be mainly for kids, you would want to come in here and maybe disable some certain things from being uh, purchased or used. Anything like that, you can come in here in restrictions and start disabling access to specific functions. I can even allow changes to accounts, find my friends, background app refreshing, and even start changing privacy options for uh, contacts, calendars, reminders, photos, and anything like that. So by tapping any one of these, you see I have apps that are allowing changes. I can allow or not allow changes to specific functions. And then I can even change, again, ratings for iTunes specific content like TV shows. I cannot allow a certain rating to be installed on the device. I can allow all TV shows. And I can just come in here and change all these options to allow these specific functions not to be used or to be used on my device. And if you'd ever like to disable restrictions, just tap disable, enter in your passcode, and it's going to disable all the features that you've done here in Reminders. So that's how you enable Reminders on your iPad Air. For more iPad Air tips, be sure and visit stateoftech.net.